Good morning, guys. Welcome to Thursday. Today is a glorious day. Sam and I are headed out off the farm today. We're going to go shopping. So I'm wearing regular people clothes. Let me show you. This is my fit. I have this, and then I have jeans, and then these are my jeans. They are ripped, and then I have boots that match my purse, that match my sleeves, kind of. That's the baby, the puppy, she's not used to, well, she's actually really good in the crate now, but only if she can hear us, she'll bark. Also, on my purse, I have leopard print. Now, what's it called, leopard print? Super trendy. I used to be a trendier kind of person, you guys. But ever since we moved to farm life, ever since we got a horse, actually, I changed. <laughs> I stopped. I'm like, why dress nice when you're just gonna get filthy dirty, which is what happens every day. But we are off to do some shopping. I hope you guys are having an awesome Thursday. Farm is super quiet, that's always a good thing. It literally shocks me that everybody's bred on this farm. Like, all the goats are bred. Like, it's so much quieter. Don't you think it's quieter now besides... You guys wondering why Sam has these headphones on all the time? Sam, tell them. Tell them why you have those headphones on all the time. Why do I Just have? wait, guess in the comments below. Do you think one, He's sensitive to noise like Gabby and he's blocking the blocking out the noise or two do you think he's tuning out the Laura and listening to music or three do you think he's suddenly after 53 two, years two, of two, life three. 53 years of life discovered that you can read books without having to read and so he's listening to audiobooks right. comment what you believe well I don't read so Sam's never read a book in his whole entire life ever he used to watch me read and be like how can you do that so what are you doing sam what are you doing with those things i'm listening to ebooks yeah so how did you get onto that i don't know i'm not sure you can't remember no. so yeah he's discovered the uh whole reading world and as long as he doesn't have to read the books i don't think his brain works in the right way to be a reader. I've but, always been a visual learner. Yeah. Listen and watch. Well, a visual learner would read and... No, a visual learner watches. No. And learns. Yeah. And when you're reading, you're watching. No. So, him and Gabby, oh, same God. brain, same... She has a little bit of me in her. Sophie is a lot of me with a little bit of Sam in her. So, anyway, let's go. We're going shopping. And we're getting off the farm. I hope you guys are able to do some fun things each week to keep your spirit rejuvenated because that's what happens to us. Get Time bored. To Christmas shop. Time to get the Christmas shop on. If you saw the vlog where I told you guys how I bought a cell phone, my very first cell phone, Sam talked me out of buying the one I wanted because he said he knew better than me and I wouldn't like it. Do you think he learned his lesson? Let's find out. Sam, I want this for Christmas. It's these overalls that are insulated and they're winter and this is a no-name brand and it's a dark color and they're super soft and warm. And what do you think of that, Sam? I guess you get one. <laughs> so he doesn't like that brand. He wants me to have these. I don't like these. I don't like how tight they are. I don't like the feel of them. They probably last longer because they're more like anti-rip. But I like these. I like this one. I like the one that I like. But I like it in black. I want black, not navy blue. So this is the same one you're looking at, right? No, these are totally different. So there you go. That's what I want for Christmas. It has the coat. I just wanted to do chores in. So these ones are like supposed to be insulated. But they're not super thick and they're not super warm. They're not as warm. This is so cute. Unfortunately, too small for Ellie. So the reason that I'm here is because I need to replenish some of my medications for my goats. And this is the only place that actually has good medication. So for anybody who's wondering, this is where we get our muck buckets and our feed pans. Like these are the feed pans. So cool. I, that's not the feed pan. These are buckets. These are so cute though. And they don't wreck in the winter. They're like soft rubber. I love these. But what I really want is a bucket like this. I need a bucket like this specifically for, oh my gosh, save $7. I'm getting it. I need these for the pigs. 
I need buckets that they can just reach. Look at that. So these little tiny ones are $9.99. The giant ones are only $11.99. I'm gonna get them. What a good day that they're on sale. These are on sale, two for $12. That is such a good deal too. Oh my gosh, look how huge these are. The pigs could swim in this and it would never just get broken. Water. That's a good water. Okay, plug in and they drink out of this thing. You just fill up the top. Oh, that is cute. Small though for all of our chickens. But look at this. The pigs could literally swim in this. It'd be like a swimming pool. Yeah, they could bury they it in the ground. It could be like a mud puddle for them. What? No, I don't think they can knock that over. It's way too heavy. They're it's 6.5 pounds. No, that's not. This little tiny one here is 6.5 pounds. They are, no, these are good, I think. It's only this size that's on sale. If it was like the smaller ones, I would stock up on feed pans too. So these are the feed pans that we have. I love them. They're perfect. They don't break in the winter. The only time they break is if your horse bites a hole in the bottom of them like Gracie does. I love a good deal, you guys. So these are $89, $89 for this little tiny bucket with little spouts. We are having lunch sausages with onions. Yep, that's what we're doing. No kids, just a date. We are home and we are working on chores even though it's only two o'clock. And that is because Brennan is back from vacation, which means if he gets a lesson tonight, I'm so excited. Hi. <laughs> so Sam's gonna do all the horse stuff. We're just getting stuff ready. I'm gonna do the chicken stuff and the goat stuff. And Sophie is gonna get Lady all ready. I am so excited to change the pig's buckets to these. The reason I don't love these for the horses or even for anybody is because this stuff like wears away. It's like smooth right now, but it gets gummy and it's hard to clean and it's just gross. But they're small, they're short to the ground, and they don't, they're heavy so they don't tip. So they're perfect for pigs. I ended up getting four of them, one for inside for each pig and one for outside. It'll be so much easier so I don't have to clean them each, like so I don't have to take them in and out each day. Right now I'm taking them in and out. The worst thing about riding at night means that it's the coldest part of the day. Everybody ready? I gotta get my winter coat for tonight and some gloves. Yeah. All the dogs are running free right now. Get your butt back here. Come on. Ellie, come on. Come. Get your butt over here. Except she will beat him up. What are you trying to say? That anybody who stands up for themselves and is vocal and says, get away from me, you creep, is annoying? No, well, <laughs> <laughs> she and oh, hang out together. she had her ears pinned. She pins her ears. You hear me, Mom? What? I know. I don't have treats. You had an apple today with your medicine in it. Don't pin your ears at her. Do you look like you're getting some butt muscles? She's yeah. looking. <laughs> She's like, I don't know, what do you think? All right, well, let's get going. I think you'll like it. She's in heat. <sighs> shine light, shine bright like a diamond. That's the song Sam's singing. I love that, Sam. I can't even see her, she's bang. headed to the lesson park and I wanted to say that I've seen a few comments recently saying that Brendan is a terrible coach and it's so funny I think what that means because people always speak with their own experiences from their own experiences and I think what that means is that they didn't learn the way that he teaches that's not how they were taught and also possibly that they wouldn't like him for their coach and that's okay but we love him and we think he is amazing and then I saw comments saying like Sylvie hasn't progressed and which is crazy because at 8 and 9 and 10 she was doing incredible things and then she had a lot of setbacks because she sold her pony that she grew out of 
and she had to wait and get a new horse and so while she was waiting she took a step back to learn the basics again every single rider should take time to go back whenever they're like it's just such a good practice to go back and start fresh she ended up doing some western and a lot of flat work on storm and it helped her so much and so now she's just waiting for lady to be ready and when she is Sophie is gonna fly and even if that were not the case even if Sophie actually took a step back and was worse than she was before it's okay Sophie is not planning to join the Olympics she's just out there having fun with her horse that's her goal and she's succeeding at that so so well and I want all of you guys to know especially people who are being bullied that it's okay to go at your own pace it's okay to learn at your own pace and your desires might be different than someone else's Sophie doesn't need to be the best at horse riding she is enjoying the journey and that's all that I want for her but look at wait I'm gonna turn the camera down it's like oh okay this is how dark it is out right now isn't that crazy that's what we saw coming down the it's even prettier in real life though isn't that gorgeous all right, it is dark out. It's dark and dreary. A lady, you be looking chunky. Oh, sorry. Kicked out of the barn, you guys. Kicked out of the stall. Hi, lady. She's like, oh, oh, I know what this is about. She can hear the other horses jumping around. I'm excited, though. I'm excited to see how she does. She like gets it now. She likes jumping. So I just got a message from someone that has. A horse exactly like Lady, the same exact breed, thoroughbred, no, Clydesdale, like Dutch harness horse, looks exactly like her, hers is a boy, A-level jumpers, and was amazing, and she sent me a picture of him, he was jumping so high, and I was telling her, like, somebody messaged me the other day and said, you shouldn't be jumping that horse, it's not, Brett, it's not made to jump. And she said, well, mine is. He loves jumping. I think Lady's going to love jumping, too. All right, we are home, and Lady gets a treat every single time we get home. We gave her a treat after her lesson. But <laughs> she likes a carrot when she comes home. She also has to wear this cooler tonight just because she got sweaty. We don't want her to be chilly. We don't want her to be chilly. So, Brandon said she doesn't even have a lot of hair to actually, like, clip her. We put a cooler on her to cool her out, too. We put it over her neck. Good night, Ladybug. Fix her tail, too. Good night, you guys. We will see you in the morning, bright and early. I have to edit still, and for some reason, I am beat tonight. All that shopping we did today, so I'm ready for bed. But before I can sleep, I'm going to edit this video. We'll see you guys tomorrow.